Welcome to Garden Cottage. What a charming cottage this is. It's in a gorgeous rural location. It's grade two listed and it was built in 1766. It's got such an amazing feel to it. You can see the timber in the ceilings. It's got lovely period features. It's a double fronted cottage, so it looks absolutely charming. And from the rear of, of the cottage, you've also got a lovely rear garden, which has got amazing views looking out to the countryside beyond. So as you come through the main front door of the cottage, you come into a hallway, and on that hallway there is some um, downstairs cloaks. There's also reception room to the right. As you come to the left from the hallway, you come into another reception room, which has got a multi-fuel burner in it. Um, it's absolutely idyllic. It's, you can cook stew on it, you can boil kettles on it, um, and it does really give the whole cottage this wonderful, warm feeling. Then that is opened up into a large kitchen area, which is certainly large enough to take a farmhouse kitchen table. And it's also got windows to the rear garden and the beautiful trees and countryside beyond. So as we travel up the stairs to the upper floor, you've got four double bedrooms in this delightful cottage. They're all of a really decent size. They've all got different views out of the windows and you've also got a family bathroom. So this cottage has just got so much about it. It feels so homely and so welcoming, but it also offers huge potential. So welcome to what remains of Downing Hall. This would have been a stately home with a very large and grand driveway which would come up to the area that we're in now. As we walk a little bit further, this, these two stones will have been where the front door to Downing Hall will have been. And as you can see, there's some grand fireplaces dotted around. We also believe that there was a large library to the far end of the hall that way. It's got such amazing history. There was a fire in 1922 and it remained as a house, as a hall, um, standing until 1953 when the council insisted upon it being dynamited. So the army were brought in and it was dynamited. So in a way it's amazing that anything remains of, of the hall. Um, but let me show you a little bit further in. So there are some stairs that go up. They don't actually lead anywhere and we believe that that was the secondary staircase. It's a stone staircase for the servants. And then we're coming through more fireplaces and the stables would have been to the far end of the site. So what we'll do now is we'll head down into the cellar. So as we come through, it's quite an extensive cellar. You can see where some of the dynamite has come through and knocked all of the, the stones in on this end. Um, but I think the vaulted ceilings just look fabulous. There are two sets of stairs coming through into the cellar. And again, it just keeps coming on. So lots more storage there. And you can see there's also the numbers the original numbers have remained. I love the potential of this property and of this opportunity. It really, there's all kinds of options that this could be used for. You've got a borehole with the ability to extract and bottle mineral water with really great qualities of the water. You've got the ability to create all kinds of small businesses here. Um, I mean, the obvious one is, is a glamping option. I mean, this area is just so peaceful and so beautiful, but it is also very, very close um, to major cities. So it's got so, so many possibilities. 
So come on down. This is known as Downing Dell. It's a wishing well that has been used for health reasons and fertility reasons. And as we come along here, the water is just so incredibly clear. And then you come into this wonderful plunge pool. It's a Georgian plunge pool and looks absolutely magical. So if you're looking for a piece of countryside and also a wonderful historical site, look no further than this Downing Estate. It really is delightful. If you would like to view, please do give me a call on 01244 313 900. I'd be delighted to show you around.